from sunny South Australia today. We are on the commute. What are we gonna to discuss today? I'll tell you what we're gonna discuss. Finesse. So there's a lot of talk over the decades that motorcyclists have said people should be forced to ride a motorbike before they drive a car. Well, there's, there's a good argument for that. Just to raise the awareness of motorcyclists. But, there's more to it than that, and I'll put it down to the fact that to ride a motorbike properly and safely, you need to ride with finesse, and to ride with finesse, you can't ride like you drive. The problem we have with some people is, they learn to drive before they learn to ride. And unfortunately, they then get on the motorbikes and think that their brake, their accelerator, their clutch is the same. And it couldn't be more different on a motorbike and the usage than what it is in a car. You can drive a car cack-handed and what it won't do is put you at risk. It will also upset the balance that much. The, the difference between riding a motorbike is we have to blend these controls. And I'll be honest, I don't think this is con I don't think this is taught. This feather in the clutch. I don't think smoothness of operation. You know, but riding smoothly is the ultimate. And that, if you can manage to get your finesse, and I'm talking about not just gear chip for using your clutch, I'm talking about the feathering of your clutch to smooth out your ride. And it's not taught. The blending of your gear changes with your accelerator and where you can use your clutch, clutch as you're manoeuvring, not just for changing gears. The amount of times I'll go around a bend won't change gear, but I'm half, I'm in my friction zone. And you're allowed to do that on a lot of motorbikes because they've got wet clutches. The vast majority of motorcycles have got a wet clutch. And you can use your clutch to control how the power comes in, how it doesn't come in, and smoothen your progress around the corner. That's not taught. If it is, let me know. What's your thoughts? I mean, there'll be a lot of people here nodding, I expect, that are watching this, that'll go, yeah, I do that all the time, but is it taught to new riders? Are they the riders that get drive to the training centre and get sent around cones in a car park? Are the instructors then going, by the way, you can't drive your motorbike like you drive your car. Your clutch and your brakes and your accelerator have a direct impact on your journey and are not not just a lot more so than in a car now what's going to happen is i'm going to bimble through here and we're going to do some clutch control so as i'm approaching this next junction i'm going to turn right down this little side street and get across in front of this high ace See, I'm half on the clutch there. I'm not fully letting it out, I'm just using it 
to control the feeding of the power as as well as using the same getting the same out of the accelerator and blending both we'll get to here half clutch don't be scared of doing halfway and while you're riding around feather the clutch half on half off use it to smoothen out your progress right we'll go so there i mean i'm in second gear A slow moving truck in front you notice there look i'm half on the clutch i'm not braking but i'm smoothing out the power delivery half clutch there just half clutch watch this little white car right so i'm not off the clutch completely i'm not fully engaged it and then i'm on the brake off the brakes and smoothing it out it's all about look how much i'm using the clutch now hardly at all watching here right we'll get second gear you let the clutch fully out you get jerkiness do you know what i mean it's that on and off the throttle but now i've got a car turning left in front of me so i don't want to be up his ass and hitting the brakes just off bring the clutch in half and back out again you're not losing your drive you're just smoothing out the power delivery <coughs> excuse me covid and um I'll, oh, I'll take you back 30 odd years i was I, I worked at a dealership as some of you know and it was a Yamaha dealer as, as well as other manufacturers and we got taken by Yamaha to Donington and now I'm not a short circuit specialist I'm in back then I was a road specialist and I could ride as fast as anybody on the roads but when it came to short circuits it wasn't my forte and I just didn't feel at home there's a reason for it I didn't do much of it to be honest and I just never felt right but I held my own but I just it wasn't my thing but one of the things they did tell us and um, I think it was Jim Moody I remember stood next to him having a piss in the toilet it's only a little fella and Jim Moody was one of the guys there doing some of the instructing and they made us look bloody even some fast riders that were with us they made them look bloody very very amateur but he said slow down concentrate on your lines concentrate on your motor skills your your clutch your gear changes get them all done right and your, your throttle use it like a dimmer switch Just get the smoothness and it's the same on the roads on your motorbike you can't do it on the car it's a completely different animal it's a different ball game if you drive if you ride your motorbike and use the controls like on and off like you would in a car to change gear it ain't gonna work well and you're not gonna get comfortable and you're always gonna struggle now, now this has come to be in this conversation that I had with a friend recently and it crossed my mind the way he was talking about it he got suffering with his slow speed, slow speed skills and I don't think it's hardly discussed with new riders he's a new rider i don't think it's discussed this art which is what it is riding a motorcycle is an art and it needs to be treated as an art form something you need to hone being smooth and riding with finesse if you can slow your riding down and get these motor skills blending your clutch and your accelerator and your brakes smoothly all the time get that right and then start speeding up then start giving it the buddies a little bit but you'll find you need to hone them smooth riding skills and once you've done that you've cracked it this is a lovely sweeping bend and i'm very disappointed there's vehicles in front of me because you can crank it right over here although i'm always a little bit wary because if i do get a moment i mean the barriers I'd love to have no barriers there and just have a bloody have the balls to 
My balls have shrunk, by the way. They do when you get older. I wouldn't even have given it a second thought 30 years ago. I'd have been banked over there and scraping the edge of my tyres. Now I'm like, ooh. Shrinking testicles, it's a thing.